It's Good Friday now. Normally we would be doing this in church as a whole, but this, this year we're doing it in pieces. And the last two we'll do this evening. This one's called The Witnesses. O oh Lord, enter not into judgment with your servants, for in your sight shall no person living be justified. Almighty God, since you know that we are set in the midst of so many great dangers, that by reason of the frailty of our nature, we cannot always stand upright. Grant us such strength and protection as may support us in all dangers and carry us through all temptations. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. John chapter 19, verse 31. Since it was the day of preparation, and so that the bodies would not remain on the cross on the Sabbath, for that Sabbath was a holy day, the Jews asked Pilate that their legs might be broken and that they might be taken away. So the soldiers came and broke the legs of the first and of the other who had been crucified with him. But when they came to Jesus and saw that he was already dead, they did not break his legs. But one of the soldiers pierced his side with a spear, and at once there came out blood and water. He who saw it has borne witness. His testimony is true, and he knows that he is telling the truth, that you may also believe. For these things took place that the scripture might be fulfilled. Not one of his bones will be broken. And again, another scripture says, they will look on him whom they have pierced. Finally, the burial of Jesus. You will not abandon me to the grave, nor will you let your Holy One see decay. Let us pray. Abide with us, Lord, for it is toward evening, and the day is far spent. Abide with us and with your whole church. Abide with us in the end of the day, in the end of our life, and in the end of the world. Abide with us with your grace and goodness, with your holy word and sacrament, with your grace and strength. Abide with us when the night of affliction and temptation comes upon us, the night of fear and despair when death shall come. Abide with us and with all the faithful through time and eternity. Amen. And after these things, Joseph of Arimathea, who was a disciple of Jesus, but secretly for fear of the Jews, asked Pilate that he might take away the body of Jesus. And Pilate gave him permission. So he came and took away his body. Nicodemus also, who had earlier come to Jesus by night, came bringing a mixture of myrrh and aloes, about 75 pounds in weight. So he took the body of Jesus and bound it in linen cloths with the spices, as is the burial custom of the Jews. Now in the place where he was crucified there was a garden, and in the garden there was a new tomb in which no one had yet been laid. So because of the Jewish day of preparation, since the tomb was close at hand, they laid Jesus there. We pray, merciful and everlasting God, who has not spared your only Son, but delivered him up for us all, that he might bear our sins upon the cross. Grant that our hearts may be so fixed with a steadfast faith in him that we may not fear the power of our adversaries. Through the same, your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen.